But today I'm announcing that we'll not seek a seventh term as mayor of the city of Chicago. With his family at his side, Mayor Richard Daley said enough is enough. I've always believed that every person, especially public officials, must understand when it's time to move on. For me, that time is now. Chicago has had a Mayor Daley for 43 of the last 55 years. Richard Daley, the father, for 22, followed by a brief intermission, and then the son since 1989. He seems to be born to be mayor. It's the most significant event to happen in Chicago politics and maybe the city since his father died. But they're not talking about gun violence. In six straight elections, he was never seriously challenged, and among the reasons was a penchant for giving city jobs to potential rivals. With a rubber stamp city council, he basically ran the city on his own. A surge in juvenile violence has tarnished his record, and a recent Chicago Tribune poll found only 37% of voters approved of the job he was doing. With Daley stepping aside now, speculation has begun about a successor, including whether Obama Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel might want to move from the west wing of the White House to the fifth floor of City Hall. Emanuel, who once said he wanted to be Chicago's mayor, would say only in a statement today that he was surprised by the mayor's decision. But Daley clearly has his own reasons. He's 68 years old and his wife Maggie has been ill. His father died of a heart attack in office at the age of 74. Today, President Obama said of his fellow Chicagoan, no mayor in America loved a city more or served a community with greater passion than Rich Daley. Katie? Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Dean, thank you.